Hi all, hello everybody. Welcome back to Resonet. So today I'm going to be trying this mold. This is a new mold that I got from Timu, I believe. Maybe Amazon, I'll have to double check. Um, but I'm excited to give it a try and I've got some leftover resin so I thought this might be a great time to try it. I do need to try it with a bit of mica powders. So I am going to find one here in bronze and I think we're going to do um, pink. Might actually use a bit of purple. Actually, not that bright of purple. This, uh, this purple. This one is dark purple and I'm going to go with the light purple. Okay, I think I finally got this figured out. Okay, I'm going to be using Sigwong in black. And let's resin in bronze. And let's resin purple. Let's resin pink. And perhaps a bit of, uh, yeah, actually that might be it. I think I'm going to stick with these four colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the black. Oh, that's not going to be too much. Because I'm going to come in here and try to do the hair. Just a tiny bit of the hair with this black. Just a bit. Using just a paintbrush that's soft, but kind of uh, firm. Bristles are soft, but the texture of it is firm, so I can actually get right where I'm trying to be in here. Okay, I think that's about right. I'm gonna use a little uh, cotton tip swab here, a little bit of alcohol, and just go in here and clean up my little couple, two little spots I made. Okay. Now I'm going to clean off my paintbrush. I'm done with the black. And I'm going to come in here and do, oh, I see I need a little bit of green. I mean, for my, I'm sorry, for my flowers. So I'm going to go in here and do my flowers in pink. Okay. You can see here so far, got the hair in there. These little flowers are really deep. Um, so you gotta really kind of get your paintbrush down in there. That's another good reason to use one that's kind of firm. I just feel like there's a lot of potential for bubbles in this. See? Okay. And now I'm going to do just this little bit of the leaf. Tiny little spots for a couple leaves here. I feel like there was another leaf somewhere. Hi. Okay. So that's it for that. Now I'm going to come in and do my little purple blanket Bring this off in here I want purple splattered everywhere I should have taken that lid off away from my mold and now I'm gonna do this little blanket section 
in purple. Okay, so that is that. I'm going to blow this out real quick. All right, and then I'm going to do bronze for around the edges. Oh, oops, I forgot to clean out the little spot there where the arms are. I kind of got carried away with my blanket color. Okay, so now clean off my brush real quick. I'm going to do like what looks like to me as the basket in bronze. And I'm gonna see if I have a little bit of a bigger paint brush. Oh, it's gonna coat a little bit quicker than this one. And I do have this one, so I think I might give this one a try. And I'm gonna kind of lay this, this is what we've got here so far. Okay. I'm going to see if I can do this without making a big mess. Wish me luck on that. A real pretty color. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a, I think it's supposed to be kind of like a basket, I think. I don't know, it's really kind of hard to tell just by looking at it this way. I'm doing it kind of sideways because I don't want to get it on the face. Trying to keep it all separate. I can imagine my resin over here is probably getting kind of warm. So hopefully I can speed this up a bit, get it done real quick. This big brush is definitely helping with that. Okay, here's, here's what we've got so far. Hey, for our little baby. So let's see how this turns out. Hey, this, I'm gonna spray just a bit of alcohol in here, not much, doesn't feel like it really needs it. But let's see what happens. This could be really cute. Also could be a big bubble fest. I don't know what to think about that part. I'm gonna pour kind of slow around these edges. This little face. Arms, got these flowers. These flowers really could be bubbly. Little toes down in there. Let's see. I'm going to try to kind of pull it a bit, bunch it up a bit. I don't want to ruin my, my mica powders I've got painted, so I'm going to be kind of careful. But I'm hoping some bubbles will come up out of here because there are definitely a lot of little nooks and crannies, lots and lots of them. Give it a couple of good little splats. There we go. Whoops. Kind of splatted a little bit too much. <laughs> and I have to mix up some more. All right. 
And I think for this one, I'm just going to go ahead and add a bit of this dark yellow, just a little. That India ink, a bit of this. See what I get with this. Am I getting warm? That's for sure. That's pretty, but we need to add some white. I might just add my cast and craft a bit to this. Lighten it up a bit, see if we can get kind of a close to this other color. This is kind of more of a caramely color. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and add this to it. There we go. All right, this is gonna kind of do its thing with the colors, um, but it'll be just kind of interesting to see. I'll swirl it around in here. Okay, so I'm going to just like leave this here and I'm going to watch it for bubbles because it's definitely going to have some rise up, especially with all of those little tiny areas. Okay, so um, let me clean this up real quick. Some of these bubbles are stubborn, so goes out of there. All right, guys. All right, I'm going to let that cure. I'll let that cure. I'm going to move this over to my curing rack. And when these are cured, we will be back and we'll demo it together. Hello, everybody. I'm back. This is completely cured. I'm kind of excited to see how it turned out. I'm not real sure since we used mica powders, I didn't put a dark color in there, but you never know. Let's take it out of here and see how it did. This mold is super stretchy and easy to take off. So that's pretty nice. Really like these kind. Oh, whoops. All right, I'll pick all this off later. I promise I'm trying to get better at that. Okay, let's just take it out of here. See how it did. I'm really kind of nervous about how the baby's going to look. I don't know with the skin. I don't even know if I got it in the right spot. Okay, so I see some of our mica powders stuck to the mold. Hmm. So I don't know. Maybe it didn't get all in there, but we'll see. All right. Wish us luck. Here it goes. Oh my gosh, it worked. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the baby skin is kind of mottled, and that's my fault for kind of blending those two colors back here. But oh my gosh, how cute is that? If I wouldn't have done that, it would have been perfect. My gosh, even the little toes in here. Okay, so look at I had a little bubble here at the end of the big toe. Um, I must not have squished it in there right, but, you know, I was really kind of winging it with the blanket and where I thought the feet and the legs would have been, would be, I wasn't real sure. And the arms and the shoulders, but, oh my goodness. What do you guys think about that? And the basket, we did that bronze in bronze. So... Oh my gosh, I have to tell you, I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm gonna have to go back in, watch the video, see what color I did 
for the lighter color. Oh, you know what? Actually, as I look closer at that little face, look how sweet. Um, I think what happened is I don't think it's modeled from the inks. It actually looks like it's modeled from using the bronze uh, mica powder. It looks like some got on the face. And I did go in there with a little uh, cotton bud and tried to clean it a bit with some alcohol, but I think I just didn't get it uh, done well enough. But how cute. Oh my gosh, that's just the sweetest little thing. It's probably about... Um, let me see here. Okay, got my measuring tape. This is a, kind of a really cute size. Let's move out here to about, let's see. It's, well, let's see. About 10.3, 10.2 centimeters, or gosh, four and a half inches long. So it's pretty good size, really. And at the widest spot, about two and a half inches. But, um... Oh my gosh, that is just so cute. All right, let me know what you guys think. This was super fun to do. I'm excited to do another one now and just, you know, try it again with the little, oh my gosh, with the little basket and the little face and everything. So, uh, all right, you guys, let me know what you think about this. And thank you for joining me. I hope you had fun and I will see you all next time.